check for advanced restart button it's available i am directly using that in order to boot into recovery if you don't have that option you can use the volume up button and power button to boot into recovery and use the latest recovery all the links of the recovery and firmware is given in the community section i made a dedicated video to how to update to this recovery using any other recovery or even that same twrp older version you can check out my channel i will give the card also as you can see this is the latest twrp recovery available for poco xc once it's booted into recovery go to wipe section and select advanced wipe and select dalvik catcher and data and swipe here to wipe it after that go to home section here and select install and select the micro sd card and wherever you download the rom file, go there first flash the okay first flash the firmware always 12.5.5.0 flash it then go to home section again and select the rom file here this is potato surya you can see here POSP roms it takes a little bit of time to flash the ROM, wait until it gets flashed. As you can see, the ROM zip file has been flashed successfully. Go to home section here and select wipe and select format data and type here YES and press this tick button. Again, select this home section and select reboot and select the system. This is the flashing method of Potato OS for Poco XC, NFC, Surya, Karna, whatever it is. And in this video, I am going to explain everything regarding this ROM in detail, like BGMA gameplay, charging animation, charging speeds, battery life, bugs, features, everything will be explained in detail. Stay tuned till the end of the video. And here we go, it's booted into Product OS. And let's begin this video. Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath, you are watching Sampath SamFX YouTube channel and this is the POCO X3 custom ROM reviews. Here the POSP version you can see here 5.2.1 plus 11 and Android version 12 and 5th May 2022. It's an latest security patch and kernel user here is 4.14.246 you can read here. This is the kernel user here and I have been running the CPU throttling test from last 5 minutes 2 seconds you can see here the maximum is 152 and average is 133 and minimum is 97 million GIPS and it's throttled to 83% of its max performance that's how it is and coming to dialer you get this kind of dialer here as you can see direct video call feature is also available and call recording feature is not available in this room you need to keep in mind these things and this is a quick settings panel you get power button you it will look like this and edit section you get location mic access those things if you want you can drag like this how i drag drag that if you don't want you can do vice versa that's how it is and let me disable this location by default these things are turned on you will face battery draining issues hence turn this off and this is the brightness slider and uh, regarding the benchmark results and to benchmark here in this particular rom you get 3 lakhs 66220 and temperature raise was just 0 0.6 degree celsius and three percentage of battery has been dropped during this testing and device may be rooted it's showing like this let's see maybe the safety net status get failed here in this particular ROM. Before that, let me show you the Geekbench scores here in this particular ROM. The single score and multi score performance. You can see here 546 and 1498 respectively. And the kernel user is Linux 4.14.246 has been used. And a 12 based ROM. This is very good ROM. This is the first time I am reviewing this ROM. It's smooth enough to use this. And let's see how it handles in the BGMA gameplay also. And before that, DRM info again here into this particular ROM level 1 certification you can watch all the OTT application in HD resolution that's not the problem safety net status it might get failed even Android benchmark result oh it's get passed this is very good and you can use all the payment applications like Google Pay, Phone Pay, Paytm whatever it is you can use all those things once the safety net status get passed you can use all those applications it's not the problem but just enter to benchmark results showing that it's may it be rooted okay there i have already shown my fm is installed and you get this kind of files application the camera sorry the application is looking a little bit different here maps google maps working fine no problem regarding that too 
and let me move into settings and show you what all the settings you get as you can see this is how the settings panel looks it's simple as any other and a 12 or 12.1 l13 any style into battery settings battery usage you can see here it hasn't recorded for the first time battery manager is given battery saver is also given battery usage hasn't given extreme battery saver options are also given here it's simple like pixel experience rom type roms but you have here customization like fries you get show volume panel on left you can enable or disable for example if you use this the volume panel will come at the left hand left handers might like this kind of options double tap to sleep on lock screen and three finger screenshot is given oh let me enable that and navigation handle length is given if you swipe here downside let me it is not going okay themes you can adjust the colorfulness here you can see here the gamma i think use color lightness scale generate accurate shades some of the customization available in terms of screen i mean display and battery style you can choose here and battery percentage you can hide and key guard quick top these are the only bit customization has been added in this particular rom that's fine enough but there are plenty of roms with customization you want simple rom then you can try this and in display settings you get all the basic settings like dark theme you let me try this how it looks nice this is nice little bit gray but overall it's a pitch black condition that i really like it and night light features is also given and colors keep it boosted adapt and natural little bit looks out was it on smooth display enable this you get up to 120 hertz refresh rate this is how the display settings on wallpaper and style you get only this kind of wallpaper dark theme app grid and system icon packs you can choose from here coming to security you get fingerprint unlock there is no face unlock here encryption credentials you can see here the rom is encrypted and let me show you the fingerprint unlock as you can see it's very very quick there is a face unlock maybe in upcoming builds they might add and coming to camera application as you can see this is a camera application don't use that use this arno build gcam what i was always spoken about this in any custom roms using poco x3 you get ultra wide angle working here macro camera is also working fine that's how it is and if you want to use any other gcam ports like nikita gcam whatever it is you can use if you are already using that comment down in the comment section below i also check out and make it in my next upcoming videos this how the video and i have here like 100 mps geo giga fiber connection it's pulling up to 90 to 95 and even with mobile data connection also i checked out it's working fine no problem regarding that carrier aggregation is also working fine earpiece problem no if the calling is fine enough in this particular rom and into settings you can see here accessibility it's available no it's missing i don't know why they miss some of the options here and location settings are working fine digital well-being is given system into gestures into system navigation there is no option just you get left right set edge sensitivity that's how it is and uh, this is the rom potato os or whatever it is POSP, whatever it is the name is a little bit different but anyhow it's fine enough the ui as you can see it's smooth but this is the one bug you can see here recent apps is it a blur app preview or what i don't know comment down in the comment section guys and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon whenever i upload a video you will get notified and if you like the video give it a like i will be motivated to make similar kind of videos and uh, let's see the bgma gameplay how it handles what all the graphic settings we get let's check out and you can see here the graphics is just simple enough smooth plus ultra only nothing fancy here and loudness is also fine enough and real time fps i can't show you there is no gaming mode fine enough to have like casual like tdm like that but uh, definitely 60 fps will make more sense
the auto brightness sensor is a little bit acting different here i don't know calibration is different compared to any other roms Okay, I'll come back and show you the charging animation whether it supports 33 watt charger or not. Let's see. It is showing charging slowly. Okay, now it's showing charging rapidly. I hope as you can see. I hope you guys see it. Okay, that's all guys in this video. You can definitely try it out as a daily driver. No problems from my side also it's fine enough just they need some improvements that's all and thank you for watching guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keeps smiling bye bye for now